In today's video, we are going to talk about NVC processing times as of March 11, 2024. We're also going to talk about the case transition from USAS to NVC and also case transition from NVC to consulate for immigrant visas and K visas. We're also going to talk about April visa bulletin and uh, February NVC backlog report. As you can see, this uh, for this uh, uh, for the April month, they did not release the NVC backlog report yet. It's going to be for March, but they did not release it. So, if you're ready, let's go to NVC processing times. If you follow my channel, you already know what this means. We have three three of them. First one is a current case file creation time. Second one is a current case review time. And the third one is a current public inquiry form response time. Uh, the top two are crucial to your case. You must understand them. So we're going to define them and give the processing times. First, let's talk about the case transition from USCIS to NBC. What does it mean? Once USCIS approves your petition, they will send you I-797, like this one right here, telling you that your petition is approved and it will be sent to the Department of State. And it has some important information about the beneficiary and the, and the petitioner mainly it's a numbers and also a receipt number that's what you need uh, you know to do a lot of stuff on your uh, future uh, forms at the meantime they will send your petition uh, to nvc for processing nvc will receive will create your visa case and enter the data from your petition into the system and then they will send you instruction as a welcome letter like this one right here this is two welcome letters uh, the left hand side one is for immigrant visa, also called Notice of Immigrant Visa Case Creation, and it has NVC case number and invoice ID number. And that's what you need to complete your immigration uh, journey. It will be mainly at NVC. For right hand side, it's K visa. This is a welcome letter for K visa, and it has only a case number. That's what you need to complete as well your immigration journey, but not at NVC. It's going to be in USTravelDocs.com. So that's the main. At this point right here, these two visas take a different path. One is going to go through NVC for immigrant visa, and for key visa, we'll go through US Travel Docs. Now, uh, since we defined the current case file creation time, now let's talk about the processing time. As of 11th, March 2024, NVC is working on the cases that were received from USAS on the 15th, February 2024. As you can see, no movement from last week. So it's been two weeks like this because NVC right now has a lot of backlog. So as you can see, they're still working on the 15th, February 2024. It was the same from last three weeks now. So there is no movement. So this is uh, April 2024 visa bulletin. Uh, if you are in these categories right here, if if one, if two, a, if two, b, if three, four, expect a long wait to get a welcome letter, to get documentally qualified, and to get interview letter. Uh, one thing I want to mention in this uh, visa bulletin for for April visa bulletin, uh, only one change, one minor change for Philippines, it went up by one year, which is good. So now it's 2005 instead of 2004. Uh, the other ones they have the same priority date now let's go to k visa uh, this is a welcome letter we already talked about it he has only a uh, case number that's the important element in this welcome letter and that's what you need to complete your immigration journey and also he has this important information right here a example with interview location petition name applicant name and uscs and uscs receipt number once you receive your uh, welcome letter uh, it's time to check your status and how you do that you can go online to visa status check and enter visa application tab type choose immigrant visa non-immigrant i know it's confusing but it is what it is immigrant visa not non-immigrant because i got a lot of questions people asking me why i don't have no status you must select immigrant visa and then immigrant visa case number from your welcome letter as shown right here and then you enter the character right here and then click submit and it's going to give you the status if it is ready, it's time to go to create your profile. I have a video on my channel how to do that if you want to watch it. It is a simple process. It just uh, follow the steps, click on new user and follow the steps. You will need email address and uh, date of birth, of course, and uh, some uh, basic information. Once you create you now your profile and you have your login credentials, 
And once you log into your account, it will show us right here, or your profile, it will show us right here. This is why I said get confused. Now it shows non immigrant visa application, but for for K1 visa, for K visa mainly, it's uh, immigrant visa, not non immigrant visa. Because as you know, a lot of people doing uh, B1, for example, B2 visas go through US travel tax as well. So you, you pay the visa fee, uh, complete your DS-160, and then schedule your appointment. But you cannot schedule your appointment until you get confirmation from your uh, consulate. One thing I want to mention for DS-160, because a lot of people have this problem, you know, once like you start uh, filing uh, DS-160, write your application down and secret questions. And also, you have to remember your email address. If you don't remember your email address, it's going to be a problem for you in the future for uh, your account. Yeah, I got a lot, of, a lot of people have that problem. So three things you need to remember. Uh, application ID, security question, and your email address. Now let's switch to immigrant visas, CR and AR. Uh, this is immigrant visa uh, for, uh, this is a welcome letter for immigrant visa. As I mentioned before, it has NVC case number and the invoice ID number, and they sent you a link right here. If you click on it, it's gonna take you to sign in page. Or you can enter the case number. You gotta first. You gonna check. I have read in terms of the Privacy Act notice, case number, and then it's gonna take you to the next page where you can enter the invoice ID number, and then you choose the one that apply for you, petitioner, applicant, or a third party agent. Then you enter the character shown above, and then click on continue, and it's gonna take you to the main page of NVC account, your account, right here. Make sure this information right here is correct because it comes from your petition. If you see something right here, correct it right away. Send an inquiry to NVC. For example, if you see your uh, uh, foreign country, where we have interview, is uh, different than the one you submitted to USAS, send an inquiry to NVC right away to, to correct it. Also, you can update your email address from here as well. Uh, this is the bottom of your uh, NVC account. You have affidavit of support and applicant information. And if you have children or dependent, it will uh, show under uh, the principal applicant. You can add and remove applicant. You can do nothing until you pay the fees. Once you start, and the fees must be paid separately. You cannot pay them at the, uh, both at the same time. So once you're done with the payment, you can start affidavit support and then start uh, IP application. For civil document, you cannot do anything until you complete IP application. Once you're done with IP application, which is DS-260, you can start uploading civil document. Now, let's talk about the current case review time, processing times. As uh, First, we're going to give the processing time, and then we're going to define it. As of 11 March 2024, NVC is reviewing documents submitted to them on 1st March 2024. As you can see this one, they are moving when it comes to case review time. Last week, it was 26 February 2024. Now, before NVC review your uh, your case, you must submit, you must pay the fees and submit all required document, petition document, uh, applicant DS-260. You must print, you must submit it, submit DS-260 and, and uh, print the confirmation page, and also the applicant civil document. You must submit applicant civil document. We're gonna go through that as well. Uh, this is a petition document. This is the required. Uh, IOS document, affidavit to support, and federal income tax schedule. As you can see, it's missing. There is no date right here. There's nothing right here. Once you upload it, it will show like this. Upload it, and you will have the date right here. You will need uh, form I-64, uh, federal income tax transcript, uh, 10 and nice W-2s. As you can see right here, I'm not going to go through this. As you can see, the status changed to upload it, from missing to upload it, and then give a date right here. And now, once you submit them, it will show submitted right here in the red rectangle. It shows submitted. That's the date they are talking about, the current case review time. It could be in a petition side or uh, applicant side. Same thing, this is for our applicant documents. As you can see, they are missing. Once you upload them, it will show uploaded and it will be a date right here. Once you click on submit, it's going to be, that's the date they are talking about right here in the red rectangle, submitted. That's the kind of case review time that I'm talking about. Now, NVC, well, once you submitted all required documents to NVC, NVC will review them, and they see everything is fine, they will accept them. 
If they accept them, means you become documentary qualified. Once you become a documentary qualified, NBC will send you an email telling you that your case becoming your immigrant visa case becoming documentary qualified. So from this point right here, that's a case transition from NBC to consulate. NBC will work with your consulate in your country to schedule an interview for you. That's a case transition from NBC to consulate. Once they do that, they will. Uh, they have a slide for you. They will send you interview visa appointment letter telling you that they schedule interview for you. They will have a time, date, and location where you will have interview. Uh, this is uh, February uh, NBC immigrant visa backlog report. I just I want to show you how many documentary uh, completed cases sitting at NBC as of 30 as of January 31st is 380,407. And they scheduled 42,151 uh, interviews for February 2024. And you see the backlog right here went up a lot uh, during uh, uh, February. So now, if you check the status, once they complete, once they uh, send you a welcome letter, if you check your status at your uh, NVC account, it will show the status will change at Casablanca. Uh, it's going to be a city in your country where you have interview. And if you check the status online, it will show it's ready, means ready for interview. Now let's go to the last uh, NBC processing time, which is a current public inquiry from response time. As of today, 11th March 2024, they are responding to inquiries received on the 6th March 2024. NBC is doing good on this one because people, NBC knows uh, people have a lot of questions, so they respond really quick. To send, uh, to send an inquiry to NBC, it is very simple. Just go online and type NBC public inquiry form and click on the first link and it's gonna take you to the inquiry page. You will need NBC case number or US USCIS receipt number. You can you can get NBC case number from I-797 or for you uh, USCIS, I'm sorry, for NBC case number, you will get it from your welcome letter. For USCIS receipt number, you will get it from I-797. Uh, principal applicant, you will find it in your uh, uh, USCIS receipt number and uh, date of birth, it must be a match and it must be in the format a day, month, and year. Do not put international format and then petition of full name and then who are you? Who is filing this, this uh, inquiry? Uh, petition, applicant, or attorney. You will need a valid email address and you must remember this email address because it is very important. You might need it for the future use. So once now you enter your email address, you must enter your inquiry or a question you want you want to uh, you want to ask NBC. You can attach five attachments, which is good. If you have supporting documents to your inquiry, you can attach them. And then once you're done, you can uh, check I'm not a robot and then click submit. Once you submit, once you submit your inquiry, will be sent to NBC. NBC will take a couple of days and it will give you a response. So this is the end of this video. I hope you like it. If you do, please subscribe, share, hit the notification bell. Thank you and see you next video.